Here is how to make your Google Looker Studio reports interactive. And the first way I will show you to do it is by changing the dates of your report. So you can go to any Looker Studio report. In this case, I am using one with Google Analytics data and you will see that there is nothing. So I don't know what date I am seeing. By default, as far as I know, Google Looker Studio displays the last 28 days, but I will change this. So I will go to the menu and I will click on an option that says, or that is called add a control. And there is an option that is called date range control. I will click there and I will paste this new widget wherever I want. I will paste it right here in the top right corner of my report. So by default, I am seeing the last 28 days, but I will change it. So I will click on the widget and the new date I will choose is from October 1st to October 19 of 2022. And I will click on apply. And as you can see, I am changing the date of my report, but there is a problem with static dates. Whenever someone opens this report, whatever the date it is, it won't change. It is fixed. It is static. So I will change that. I will make this date dynamic depending on the current date. I will explain. I will go again to a widget and you will see a word that says fixed. You will click there. You will see it in the top right corner of this window. And now you will see options to make your day dynamic. So you can display the last seven days, the last 14 days, etc. You can display this month to date, this year, this year to date, whatever. For this exercise, I will do it with this month to date. I will choose this option. And also I can choose if I want to exclude today's data or I can include it here in this option, but I will leave it as it is and I will click on apply and here I have a report that will change my data accordingly. So if I am in November, this month is November's, then it will display November's data. This is how it works. But this date range is changing the entire dashboard. What about changing the dates for a particular chart? So I will go to a specific chart and I will show you how to do this exercise, how to change different dates per chart. So on my report, I will go to this scorecard and in the right side of the panel where you can choose where you can choose metrics, dimensions, and so on, you will see an option that is called default date range. By default, it displays automatic. Automatic means that it will use the date range of your widget. But I will go with custom. And on custom, instead of this month to date, I will choose this year to date. So this date will respect or will apply only for this chart. For the rest of the chart, for the rest of the dashboard, we will use the one that we are choosing on the widget. And this is how you can change the dates of your Google Lookers to your reports.